People want to kill me. They tell me so every day. People want to put my baby in the microwave. Oh, I'm not sitting in this courtroom snickering. I'm not sitting in this courtroom laughing, smiling, making snide jokes. I'm not. This is horrible. This is painful. And this is humiliating for any human being to go through. And perhaps it's easy to forget that I'm a human being. And even though Johnny promised that I deserve this and promised he'd do this, I don't deserve this. I am harassed, humiliated, threatened every single day. Even just walking into this courtroom, sitting here in front of the world, having the worst parts of my life, things I've lived through, used to humiliate me. People want to kill me, and they tell me so every day. People want to put my baby in the microwave, and they tell me that. Johnny threatened, promised, promised me that if I ever left him, he'd make me think of him every single day that I lived. Objection, Your Honor, non-responsive. All right, I'll sustain the objection as to that, if you want to ask the question. Amber, how did Mr. Depp's statements and threats to you that you were discussing, how do those continue to manifest themselves today? In the harassment, in the humiliation, the campaign against me that's echoed every single day on social media and now in front of cameras in this room, every single day I have to relive the trauma. My hands shake, I wake up screaming. I, I have to live with the trauma and the damage done to me. My friends have to live with a set of unspoken rules about how to not scare me. Objection hearsay. Yes, sir. Unspoken rules. It's not hearsay. Go ahead. About how to not touch me, not to surprise me. My intimate partners have rules about how they can deal with me, how they can touch me. I live my life with these sets of rules that I have to follow, my friends have to follow for me not to have a panic attack or a triggering event where I relive the trauma. Even if I'm training to do my movie, for instance, if I'm training for Aquaman, a combat scene and a trigger happens, I have a meltdown and have to deal with that. The, the, the crew I work with have to deal with that because of the damage I walk around with every single day from what I've lived through. From what I've survived, I'm not sitting in this courtroom snickering. I'm not sitting in this courtroom laughing, smiling, and making snide jokes. I'm not. This is horrible. This is painful. And this is humiliating for any human being to go through. And perhaps it's easy to forget that, but I'm a human being. And even though Johnny promised that I deserve this and promised he'd do this, I don't deserve this. I want to move on. The statements, the attacks on me, the campaign, that, it, that Johnny has elicited millions of people to do on his behalf when he himself could not do it. Objection, Your Honor, lack of foundation. Torture me. Speculation. Okay. I'll, I'll sustain the objection. Next question. Amber, how have the Depp Waldman statements impacted your ability to do charitable work? You know, I would, the only reason that people like Dr. Kirby can sit up here on the stand and say I'm high functioning and I do things like have hobbies and have interests is Objection because I'm responsive. Your Honor, Mr. Depp gave long-winded oh. responses oh, yesterday. Oh, good. It's been agonizing. Agonizing, painful, and the most humiliating 
thing I've ever had to go through. I hope no one ever has to go through something like this. I just want Johnny to leave me alone. I just want him to leave me alone. I've said that for years now, and I thought he would after 2020. Objection not responsive. All right, I'll sustain the objection. Next question. What do you hope to reclaim after this is over? Has taken enough of my voice. Johnny, Johnny has taken enough of my voice. I have the right to tell my story. I have the right to say what happened to me. I have the right to my voice and my name. I have a right as an American to talk about what happened to me, to own my story and my truth. I have that right. I hope to get my voice back. It's all I want. 